Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. October is back, that means that the Halloween season is here. So let's create four easy makeup looks this month. And let's start with a cute bunny. So without further ado, let's begin. I'm going to start with my complexion and today I'm going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, this one over here. Then I'm just going to apply this all over my face. No, like, just rocket science here. For foundation, I'm going to use the lightest one that I have, which is the Huda Beauty uh, uh, Fox Filter Skin Finish Foundation. This one is in the color Milkshake. I have a few acne marks over here like in my chin and my like the uh, cheeks so I'm going to apply a little bit more foundation just to cover them without using too much um, concealer and this foundation is super full coverage so a little bit go looks way and if you need to apply a second or third layer it's fine and in my experience it doesn't look cake and for concealer, I'm going to use the Burn This Way um, concealer, Tata Multi Use Sculpted Concealer, and mine is in the color Cloud. I'm just this time I'm just going to use it like on the under eyes because I'm going to use a white eyeshadow to highlight on my face, so I don't need to apply this like a deep T zone or or any, anywhere else. And you see, I apply very, very little, and with my brush, I'm just going to blend this out because I don't want it to look too cakey in my under eyes. And my skin there is very thin, so when I apply too much product, it looks like dry. So. Now I'm going to set my face just a little bit with the Makeup Forever setting powder, Ultra HD setting powder and mine is the color vanilla. And I'm going to use the little puff that comes with it. For now, that's all that I need to do for my complexion because I want a fluffy, cute bunny, so I'm not going to contour or anything like that. And let's move directly to the eyes. And for it, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild My Melody um, eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use it today because we have like a cute pink colors and this white that I need. I'm going to start with the white color and I'm going to dust this a little bit all over the eyelid from the, from the brow bone to the whole lid. Now with a more detailed brush like this one, I'm going to use this like dusty pink color. I think that one is called um, Sweetness. But yeah, this this pink over right here. And I'm going to just mark my um, my eye. I don't know how to explain it, but you will see it. Let's say that almost like a cut crease, but not that's not the way that we're we're um, going. But the technique is kind of the same.
And with a kind of a, a fluffy brush, I mean this one is not fluffy but it's really soft, so I'm going to go over the edges to make sure that everything is well um, blended and I don't have like a super harsh line between the colors. And now I'm going to grab my white pencil. We're gonna use this one a lot today. I'm just going to do like a little wing, um, but I'm going to put like a pink underneath. So this was going to create like a white space between the pink line over here and the other one we're gonna draw uh, at the bottom. I'm using a brush to help to shape the the white because sometimes or I don't know if it's my pencil is not running smoothly so I'm just going to help it out with um, with a brush to make it look more uh, precise and more smooth I'm going to set that white pencil with a little bit of the white eyeshadow so it will move and will stay in place there. and with the same white I'm just going to draw a line in the bottom lash line but not the whole way, just like a, the outer three quarters or something like that. Trying to connect it with the, the other line. Though. There you go, like this. And now with an angled brush, I'm going to draw like a pink line underneath that um, white eyeliner that we just put. I'm going to use this pink over here, which is like more a dark, intense pink. I want to be precise, but also I'm going to drag the pink a little bit so the line is not that intense and sharp. It's a little bit more like softer kind of pink. Now I'm going to go back to the white eyeshadow a lot and I'm just going to place this like in the center of my nose. Let's say that the idea is to contour the features with the white eyeshadow and the pink one. So I'm going to apply this almost all over my nose. It doesn't need to be that intense if you don't want. And I'm going to apply the same white shadow like around my mouth to create the little bunny cheeks. Actually, I'm going to try to use the, the little Makeup Forever Puffy to see if it doesn't take that long to blend this white eyeshadow. Ah, there you go. Now we're talking. I'm going to grab the, the little 
precise brush that we used before and I'm going to use the first pink kind of to extend that pink line that I did before. So the idea is to connect the eyes, this pink line of the eyes with the nose. And yes, the line is a little bit wider than when you usually contour your nose. And I'm going to paint like the little bottom of the of the nose, just to create like a heart shape. And with the first fluffy brush that I tried to use with the white eyeshadow, I'm just going to blend a little bit this pink, even though we want like an intense pink, we don't want harsh lines. And we can go back and forth with the white and pink until we're happy with the, with the colors. I'm trying to make the white part a little bit whiter because I want more chicks. Let's bring that white in the middle of the, the brows. And for eyeliner, uh, I'm just going to use to mark a little bit the lashes because I'm not going to apply any falses or anything like that and I want to draw like a false um, lashes at the bottom here in the outer part so I'm going to use my Better Than Sex eyeliner I'm going to go really close to the lashes on top and then I'm going to draw the bottom lashes Let's add a few more here. Done that way. And now I'm going to apply a little bit of that white eyeshadow on top of my brows because I want to add a little bit of like fur there. So I need that white base. And now with the same white pencil, I'm just going to go in and out a little bit of fur around my brows and around the cheeks before we move to the other details. Just like light strokes to create like kind of hairs. I'm going to try to go a little bit more intense. There you go. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of blush and I'm going to use like a peachy orangey um, blush. This is the Natasha Denona Bloom Highlighting Blush and it's a really intense kind of orangey so I'm going to go very lightly with it.
and I'm going to add a little bit this on my forehead too. And for my lips I'm going to use the white liner again. I'm just going to draw the top lip because I'm going to apply eyeshadow on top to match the pink that I use in my nose. I'm gonna go and apply this all over my lips and I'm going to leave the bottom lip on white and apply pink on the top one. There. And let's go with the pink eyeshadow. And now I'm going to go with a black eyeliner. I'm using the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof one. There you go. And I'm going to do a little dots. And now we're going to apply mascara and I'm going to use the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. I'm going to apply a little bit of this um, tint. I don't have the name right now, but I'll try to leave it um, in the description box below. But it's just like an orangey um, tint. Let's see? And just going to apply a little bit at the bottom. And this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video because I did and a lot. Halloween is one of the my favorite seasons. I just add a little bit of my, uh, I just add my bunny ears, very important. But you can go like this and white t-shirt and your costume is done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you go and recreate it, please tag me on my Instagram. I would love to see your looks. I'll leave the handles below and see you in my next video. Bye.